Last night, I went to bed half one in the morning. That's my normal time to go to bed. And I was in bed for about half an hour, maybe I dozed off for 15, 20 minutes. And I woke up and I could smell smoke and I could hear some crackle in the distance. I ignored it for about 10 minutes. You know, I just thought something was going on and making a bit of noise. But eventually I got out of bed, only to, to discover that the pub across the road, that is to say a pub which is in the process of becoming an asylum centre, I, I discovered that this was on fire. It's three o'clock in the morning and I've just woken up to find that the pub across the road, which was due to become a migrant centre, is on fire. Picture quality here isn't very good, but I can't help that. I've literally just gotten out of bed see what's going on. Now, this morning, I went out just to have another look. You're a flashy car. Now, let me see. Now these fires, fires like this have become very common now in Ireland. It seems like they're happening, I don't know, every two weeks, maybe every three weeks. There's a fire in some place, somewhere in Ireland you know, some pub or some community centre or some, something like that. You know, it's announced that it's going to become an asylum centre and a few days later the place goes up on fire. Now, if you are not living in Ireland, you, you might not understand exactly what's going on here. And social media, you know, Twitter, YouTube also, these are not very reliable and they often don't give you the right impression. You know, you'll see maybe lots of protests in England about stuff like this. And you get the impression that, you know, people are rising up, where in actual fact, these are just small groups of people protesting. And meanwhile, life in England is going on and things are just getting worse. Anyhow, and I'm not expressing this very well. In Ireland, the situation really is as bad as you might have heard. Every day of the week, you hear of migrants coming in, you know, more young men coming in and being dumped in this community or that community. You have villages, small towns over Ireland now throughout Ireland, where the people literally go to bed one day, maybe a place where there's 200 people, and they wake up the next day and over half their population is now going to be immigrants. It's, it's impossible for me to describe really how bad it is. Everything you're reading in the social media, and all, social media and all that, it's true and it's even worse. Now, I don't know how long this can go on. There is to be, there's going to be elections here, I think it's 
next year, that is to say 24. And there's no way of knowing exactly how this will play out in the event of an election. But what's also happening in Ireland is that everyone is being called far right. It's gotten out of control. It's literally unbelievable. It's every day of the week on radio. Anyone who says anything about anything is dismissed as far right. And there's no even pretense, that there's no even attempt made to make it sound credible. It's just blanket across the road across the board. Anyhow, this is just a very short video, just to show you that little clip from last night. I did make a video which uh, I put up earlier today, but uh, I just thought I'd put up that extra clip which I hadn't put up. But I'm rambling and not expressing myself as usual and I haven't got any script and I didn't make any preparation in doing this. But suffice to say that what you're seeing here in this video and on social media, on Twitter and these places about the situation in Ireland, it's true. You can believe everything here. Ireland has gone mad. And where it is leading, I don't know. What I can tell you is that people generally are getting sick and tired of being called far right. Everyone is getting fed up with it. So, I don't know where this is going. I really don't. We're soon going to have a referendum, or maybe not have a referendum, on free speech. There's also constitutional changes going to happen. The government is pushing the change. I think it's the situation of the family, exactly what constitutes the family, etc., uh, etc. Et the Things are moving very fast in Ireland, and our leaders, our elites, they appear to have gone mad. They simply appear to have gone mad. They're, they're bending over backwards to carry out all this uh, EU. You know, all of this is coming from the EU, is that we have to take X amount of uh, immigrants, and we have to do this, and we have to do that. Ireland is changing beyond recognition and it's happening incredibly fast and again I'm repeating here but this is really the point of this video. What you're seeing on social media it's not just splinter groups, little groups protesting here and there. It's not propaganda because a lot of these people put up videos on subjects like this. A lot of these actually are a bit far right and extreme groups who don't represent anyone. But, but this is the real thing. What, what you're seeing now, you can believe. What you're hearing, you can believe it. Ireland has gone mad, and God knows where this is going to lead.